Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, we will talk about VS Code, other words, Visual Studio Code. It is one of the IDA which helps you to code, basically. It is very famous amongst web developers and we will see how to install it and we will also take a quick tour about it. Let's start. First of all, we need to go to our browser and write the address that need, which is code.visualstudio.com and click enter. Now we will see something like this. It can depend on the version that while you were watching this video. However, currently we have this design in this website. So what this Visual Studio Code offers to us is we can code inside of it. So I will show for the Windows first. But if you guys need for the Mac version or Linux version, I can also show it later. Please write in the comments if you need any kind of this. So let's click download for Windows and start the installation. When you click it, you will see something is downloaded here and it will automatically send you to document page. Now you can see the whole functions of VS Code. However, this is just tutorial for installation and quick guide. Therefore, I will not go one by one, but in the future, we will continue on VS Code series more. Now let's see how installation works. When you open the file that you downloaded, you will see something like this. And in the first stage, we need to accept the agreement and click next. Then later, you will see this address that program will be installed. Then you will click next. And after that, you will see option to create shortcut and you just click next again. Then you will see some additional tasks. Mostly it would be great if you create a desktop icon here and go next again. You see it is now ready to install. Click install and wait the process. Now it is installing. And after that, we have got option to launch VS Code. Let's finish this and go to VS Code. Now you are successfully installed VS Code and you are able to open it. Let's make a quick tour about it. Later, I will also publish a video that will examine VS Code very carefully and I will give you some more tips and tricks. When you open VS Code, you will see something like this. You will see some welcome and you have got some options. First of all, we can create some new file or we can open file, open folder or we can directly play with Git. However, in this tutorial, I will just show you very basic stuff like creating and opening a folder in VS Code. First of all, we need to click open folder here. Now click select folder and you will see we have got this option in the VS Code. It says do you trust authors of the files in this folder? It is automatically asking this because of the security reasons. Just click this and yes, I trust the authors because this is your folder already. Now we saw how to open a folder. Let's see how to open a file under this folder. There are some couple of options here. First of all, when you go to the near to test in the under explorer, you see plus button here. And when you hover it, you will see new file. It means that when you click this, you have got option to create new file. Let's write here index dot html i have created html file for just 
example you don't need to worry about it if you don't know anything about html we will create a new video about html and i will try to teach you guys this is how you create file let's create folder under folder when you go to next of the new file you will see new folder when i click this you will see i have got a new folder option here let's write new folder as you can see now we can create new folder now here index.html as same as level as new folder if i want to put this index.html under new folder i need to click it and like drag it under new folder and you see it is now under new folder this is how you create new file or new folder directly from these icons also you can right click here and you will see two options new file new folder now let's go to next stuff in the left top corner you will see some options called file edit selection view go run terminal and help let's examine them one by one the file is just for the manage your file system in vs code you will see some options like new text file new file new window and you have got some open options and most of the important stuff here is saving and autosave and we have got preferences and etc now let's see what are the shortcuts for the famous stuff that we will use in vs code mostly for example creating new text file is ctrl plus n also open file is ctrl plus o and save is ctrl s also what i suggest you to open this option called autosave when you click it you will see now autosave is clicked it means that you don't need to physically save your file every time it will autosave it so it will do the save action for you and the second stuff is edit here mostly we use shortcuts however you see there are undo redo cut copy paste also you can use ctrl f and ctrl plus h for the replace and mostly use command shortcuts are toggle line command toggle block command now let's give an example about those commands i will go back to my index.html and i will just write some stuff you don't need to worry about it now we have got some html file very basic and i want to comment it how can i do this when i click edit i see toggle line comment when i click this you see now the code is commented let's let's make it bigger please i can use shortcut Control plus slash so let's do it the next thing is we can use also toggle block command shift plus alt plus a let's try it shift plus alt plus a it also makes comment the third thing is selection selection is very helpful when you code in too much lines etc so you can use those shortcuts to make your code writing easy you can select all expand selection or shrink selection later there is copy line up copy line down move line up move line down let's try those with shortcuts first of all i want to copy line up shift plus alt plus up arrow let's try it i go to line 9 and i click shift plus alt plus up arrow as you can see now it is duplicated now let's try move line up move line down it is just alt plus up arrow or alt plus down arrow 
Let's try those together. Alt plus up arrow and Alt plus down arrow. The fourth one is view. This is important for general management of your VS Code. First of all, called command palette. When you click this, you will see all of the commands that you can use in VS Code. This is very long list. You don't need to remember everything, so you can search it here. Also, another important stuff is here is search. Control plus Shift F. This will help you a lot with large amount of code. Also, you can open terminal directly from VS Code. Just go to view and click terminal. You will see now terminal is opened. The final important thing here is called world wrap. Word wrap is something that allows you to wrap your writings in the short stuff. For example, if you have got a lot of stuff written inside of this, it will go endlessly end of the line. However, when you open word wrap, it will not go endlessly to end of the line. Let's try it. I will write something very long here. Now you can see text cover whole page. However, let's see what behavior changed when I open word wrap option. I go to view and click word wrap. As you can see, now it wraps the words and the line is not going endlessly. It is very useful stuff that you can use. And the next thing is go. In the go, you can go quickly to some shortcuts like go to file, go to references, go to line, next problem, next change, etc. Then we have got run options. It will help you to run your projects and debugging. Also, we have got another option called terminal. You can open the terminal or split terminal from here. And the final thing here is that help. In the help, you can find documentation, editor playground, and video tutorials, tips and tricks for VS Code directly. Those were the main options for the VS Code. Now let's continue on the left side. In the left side, you will see Explorer. This is just showing your file system, as you can see here. Also, the next thing is search. You can search something inside of your file. The third thing is source control. It is about Git, and we will have another video about this directly, but it is version control system. The fourth thing is run and debug. It is for running and debugging your projects. And we will also see this a lot in the future. And the final thing here is that called extensions. It is very important and makes your VS code more colorful. What I suggest you is three important extension for basically web developers or beginners. First of all, called Prettier. Prettier is code formatter and it allows you to write your codes better. You just need to install it. It is installed already in my computer, but you need to install it, then it will be enabled. The second extension that I suggest is Live Server. Live Server allows you to see your works output directly into browser. And the third one is something funny called Dracula. Dracula is just a theme for the VS Code and I like it a lot. It, when you enable it or install it, you will see something like this. And I like those colors. And I suggest you also to use this Dracula theme. Now we finished to install VS Code and we see some features on it. This was the quick installation video and quick guide for you guys. However, in the future, I will create more advanced version of VS Code and some tips and tricks. Stay tuned. Take care. Bye.